Hey, Novina Carmel here back with you on school night with Violet Skies. Hey guys. Who just took the stage and killed it told some really good jokes, but apparently those were not her best jokes. No, I do have better jokes, but I just, they didn't come to me in the moment. I was shocked hearing that, because I was like, this girl is funty. <laughs> um, but you are from Wales. I am. And what time is it in Wales right now? I think it's like 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning. I think there's some folks in like that were watching in Wales. I think there's some family. Yeah, some family. Like <laughs> I just have to take a moment to say thank you to the family in Wales that stayed. <laughs> um, I think one person named like C.W. W T C H B. Oh, Kutch. That Kutch. means that means hug in Welsh. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here's a Kutch <laughs> to you, darling. <laughs> Thanks that for was staying. Correctly used. Was that right? Yeah, oh. That was right. <laughs> I learned quickly. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's talk about you, mm -hmm. your music. Um, I understand you've been making it, singing since you were like a little girl, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It just you couldn't help it. Yeah. You were a singer since being a tot. Yes, correct. And, and what was the stuff that you were singing when you were like four Musicals. years old, Violet Skies? Actually, the earliest was three. I got up on a pub stage and sang. A pub stage? Yeah, what pub. were you doing in a pub? I don't know. Ask my parents. <laughs> taking, taking children into a, a, a place where they sell alcohol. Yeah. Um, and I sang I'm Just a Girl That Can't Say No oh. from the musical. Wow. And my parents were like, mm, who taught her that? <laughs> I think it was my grandmother. I but yeah. That's your grandmother, and that's where you get your name from, right? On the other side of the family, but the yes, other side, correct, got yeah. you. Okay, so Violet, you have a grandmother named Violet. Great grandmother named Violet. Great grandmother. She's not around anymore, but she is here. She's still. here now. Me, we kept somewhere. Yeah, in there. she's definitely in there. Lovely. Um, and you mentioned your. Well, you have first of all, you have a new single that's out. It's called mm -hmm. Settle. Correct. Right. Yes. And um, when you hear the name of the single, like my first thought is like settling for something. But I think you have like mm -hmm. a little bit of a different it's meaning not for the song. For something. Yeah. Okay. Don't settle. Don't. Settle. I guess. I guess. It's actually easier than you think to walk away from something that isn't right for you. It just feels really hard at the time. Mm -hmm. And I settled for a long time. So, yeah. I think also the wider, yeah, the wider meaning behind it is settling for the environment that we've created w in the world. Mm -hmm. Like climate change wise, everyone's like, oh, I think that's, you know, what's going to happen now? But I hope right. that we don't settle for our future the way it currently stands. Yeah. They say like the, kind of like the double-edged sword of being human is like we're really adaptable. Mm -hmm. So we like adapt to situations a little too easily and then settle mm -hmm. for them. Exactly. So, yeah. That's a, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. um, and that's going to be on the new album. It is. Which yeah. comes out next month. Comes out next month, June the 17th. June 17th. Mm -hmm. And what can your fans expect on the album? They can expect, I mean, it's obviously the singles that they've heard and a couple of other classic Violet Skies Ballads, including Ooh. a song called What If One of Us Died? And um, when are we going to do this? Lots of big questions. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And you've been doing some of your songs like acoustic as well, right? Yeah. What inspired I, that? I have been doing them acoustically because I started touring my last EP just with me and piano. Mm. And people. And you were playing the piano? The, I had my keys playing okay, with me. Okay, cool. And people preferred some of them like that. Mm. So I was like, oh, I maybe should just release them as this. So I just have started doing acoustic versions of everything because it seems to be what my fans that come to see me live want to hear. Mm, you know, beautiful. we chuck a bit of drums in there now and again, but yeah. they do like it stripped down. Yeah, yes. It, the, the acoustic ones sound really lovely. Thank I you. like both versions. Thank you. Yeah. It's just like a little bit of different flavors, mm -hmm. right? Um, there was a funny question at the top, actually, that I forgot to get to from the AMA, and they said... Um, oh, they deleted it. It was like, we want to start off with a little bit of drama. Oh. Who is she, <laughs> and is she going to be there? Um... Actually, it was two girls. Oh. And it's honestly not on them. It's on the, the guy. It always you know is. I mean? Yeah. I don't want to throw them under a bus. They didn't know 100% about me. Yeah. But they kind of did. Do you know what I mean? They're the 50-50. They were like turning a blind eye, kind of. Yeah, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> um, you, on stage, you were like, I just got a fresh cut. And someone yeah. backstage was like, I think after sound check, she went and got her hair cut and came back. <laughs> Is that accurate? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it looks so fresh that I think she just... It was, it's like two days old. Okay, two it's days like old. It's like two days old. Um, Shout out to Blair at Bleach London in LA. Con310 <laughs> wants to know, what is your secret for having such amazing hair? Um, I spend most of my money on it. Yeah. Well, no, actually, I I just look after it like it's a, like it's a poodle. <laughs> I sleep on nice, so like... 
pillows and I don't brush it too much and I don't wash it too much. And I look at it every day and think, is it okay? It's, it's just, looking fresh. It's obsessive. With your the like the videos and the the photos and stuff that you do, do you have like artistic direction in mm -hmm. there? Because you feel like a very artistic person. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, yes, it's between me and my longtime friend, a girl called Greta Isaac, who's another Welsh artist, who does a lot of creative direction. And she and I sat down and kind of imagined the world around the album, mm. and we've built all the singles out through there. You know, we kind of co-produce and direct stuff together, and she's just been really instrumental in bringing it to life. Very nice. Yeah. Well, the album is coming out next month. We're so looking forward to it. And then you are you do I feel like you have a tour that's yeah, I'm touring the UK. Right now. I'm touring the, the UK. UK. I'm doing four headline shows in the UK in June. Nice. Mm -hmm. Are they like at big venues that you're like excited to play at? I'm very excited to play my Cardiff hometown show because oh, nice. I haven't played there in like three years. Yeah. So I'm very excited. Oh, we I'm just being told by God in my ear that we have a question of the night that was voted on by the chat. Um, mm -hmm. We gave them a few choices and they yeah. chose this one. Uh, what is the most personal song from If I Saw You Again? It's actually a really easy one. The outro to the album is a song called Over the Valley. And that is actually written from the perspective of my grandmother mm. who passed away, Aww. talking to me. Wow. So I really wasn't sure if I was gonna put that one on. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it live. Yeah. But I, yeah. There's just more personal details in that, possibly more so than relationship stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, yeah, to, to someone, a family member, it, it's more vulnerable than even like... It is. Yeah, a it relation, is. The, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I'm letting yeah. them into, you know, I speak quite openly about my nan and she's like a major influence behind a lot of the songs in the album. Mm -hmm. And actually there's a sample of her voice in another one of the songs. Mm. So that she's kind of woven into everything. A lot of my family is, but yeah, that one... Yeah, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you also have, I just wanted to mention, you have like a, is it a foundation that um, encourages women yeah. to connect and write music together? Yes. She writes? Kind of. It's called She, it's called she Writes. Yeah. Um, it's actually um, an all-female organization. We run writing camps for female producers and writers. We've been doing it for the last five years now. Um, they're kind of like public camps, mm. uh, like professional songwriting camps, but we actually run them a lot with labels now. And we're a publishing company. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Empowering women. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. just nice, isn't it? It's <laughs> nice to have more women around. No Damn one ever said right. that was a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. Also, the numbers are really, really bad. Not to get like technical about it, guys, but the numbers <laughs> are really bad in music. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, currently only 16% of songwriters are women. Wow. And 3 to 6% are producers. That's crazy. And there's so many women that are the front people singing the yeah. songs, the big stars. But actually even less. Major labels, only 16% of artists signed to major labels are women. You'd think it was more, it's right? It's a damn shame. Yeah. What can we do about it? Sign more women. Sign more women, Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> and is there a way that we can support uh, She Writes? No, no, we're independently funded. Independent. All right. And the people who are should be funding it or funding it. <laughs> That's the correct way to say it. That's great. The labels, et cetera, et cetera. But We'd yeah. love to hear it. All right. Well, she writes, Violet Skies writes. <laughs> She's got an album on the way. She's got a tour coming. And hopefully you'll come back to school night sometime, too. I hope too. to, yeah. Yes, thank you. It's been so thank wonderful you having, having you. Thank you very much for having me. You, you, you. you close it out with a bang. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much.